All right, what's going on guys? So we got a little project here. We are leaving for a cruise tomorrow. We're going to the Bahamas and uh, we're going with Carnival. And with Carnival, each adult over 21 can take a 750 bottle of wine. Sealed, you know, corked. Um, so that's what we've got here. We got a 750. Problem is, two bottles of wine, you know, eh, maybe one night, but we need something a little stronger. So what we've got here is we've got a bottle of Tito's and we've got a bottle of Captain Morgan, both clear liquids. And what we're gonna do today is empty these out without a corkscrew, without messing up the cork. We're gonna have to put these in here. We're gonna have to tin it to get that, that Pinot yellow. We're gonna put the cork back. And then I bought these from a, a wine making website and you actually just slide these on over the top and they're heat shrink. And that's what they look like when they're done. It's pretty nice. Looks legit, right? I mean, look, here we go. All right, so let's get to it. All right, so we've got our bottle of wine. We're just gonna go ahead and open it up. Uh, just pop this cap off, you know, tear it off, whatever you gotta do. Just make sure you don't mess up the bottle any. All right, so the tin is off, as you can see. It is corked, the cork is untouched. That's the important part. Oh, my penny's too big, so we're going to take a dime and we're going to put it inside the cork, just like that. Now, I'll put this bag on here because this can make a mess. It can make wine fall out. You don't want to get your label wet because it shrivels up and then that kind of looks a little suspicious. We want to avoid all suspicion. So, we've got Placemats, paper towels, screwdriver. We're going to put it on here. Take the hammer and we're just going to drive it in very slowly. And you can see the cork is going down and it's down. All right, that's it. Now we're going to dry the bottle off. Just like I said, we do not want anything getting on our wrapper. All right, yep. We're down. All right. Now, let's take this bad boy to the sink. Now, we're going to just Pour it out. I mean, I guess you could drink it if you wanted to, but you know, we're leaving tomorrow, and I ain't trying to get tipsy on wine tonight. Okay. Now, uh oh, what do you think? All right, we got a little bit on our label, but maybe it'll be okay. Now, we have a cork in our bottle. How do we get it out? I'm fixing to show you. I'm going to take a Walmart bag, handled right here, and we're just gonna twist it up a little bit. Not too much, just enough to get it into the bottle. You're gonna to wanna to flip your bottle over. You know, let it drain, whatever. You want your cork to just kinda of be sitting in the neck area of your wine bottle. Right there looks good. Alright. Alright, so got our bag inserted. We're going to get our handles from this bag. Open it up a little bit, flip it over. And we're just going to inflate the bag just a little bit. Now what's going to happen right here, as we pull this down, going to catch the cork. See how the bottle has the cork, the bag has the cork. And we're just going to pull. Sometimes that happens. All 
There we go. Now we got the cork. We're gonna pull. Now this one is where it gets a little tricky. But we're out. And we have a cork out without a corkscrew. Very important. Okay. Now. We're gonna rinse it out. I'll be right back. All right, we're back. We've got this bottle cleaned out. But the problem is, clear, tinted. Almost matching level. We'll have to pour a little bit out of this, but what we're fixing to do is try to match that color right there. So, got some yellow food color. We're gonna start off with one drop. Look that's gonna do it right there. I don't know if y'all can tell, but that looks very, very similar. So it looks like one drop. It's gonna be perfect. All right, so I'm gonna go pour this out. Rinse it out one more time. I believe we'll put Tito's in this. Now the important thing is to not do two at the same time because you need to know your level. We're gonna tear this off and we're gonna to have to look at the depth of the cork. That's important, they need to match. So we'll match this one to this one and then second one to this one. All right, so we got it cleaned out. Good to go. I'm gonna put the drop of food coloring in first. That way we can get a little mix action as we're pouring the vodka in. All right, bottle of Tito's. All right, that's a good level. Just a tad bit left. All right, so now, got our cork. Now it won't fit right away, so get it in the paper towel, just kind of roll it around, squeeze, 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 squeeze. What we're trying to do is just push it in. Okay, now just kind of ease it on in without damaging it, which we did a little bit, but it'll be all right. Okay, now this is where you've got to take it slow because. The last thing you want to do is drop the cork too far down. I'm just going to take it. Alright, where did our dime go? Okay, so. This is where we Which one's which? There you have it. Tito's vodka in a 
corked, sealed wine bottle. The label looks good. It got a little wet, but you want to find one with a not really a paper label. This one's kind of a plastic, like a vinyl decal almost. And that worked out well. So that's about it. And we're just going to repeat it for the second one and put rum in it, but y'all don't need to see that. That's it. All right, so to give you guys a quick update, we just got back from the cruise a couple days ago. Uh, the wine bottles worked flawlessly. You will want to pick you up some heat shrink tops for them. That's what I put on there. Um, I can put you a picture on here. Um, and I'll have a link below on, I got them from a place called More Flavor. It's basically people who make their own wine. Um, you sit them on top, stick them in some boiling water and they heat shrink and they look, they look like they came from the factory like that. Um, honestly though, we went through the Carnival security line. I had both bottles in my backpack. It ran through a scanner. They never even looked at the bottles and we got through. So maybe you didn't have to go through all the trouble, but better safe than sorry. But it did work. So there you go.